starting a YouTube channel was something that I never personally believed that I could achieve. Even a year ago is something that I've never imagined I'd be sitting here talking to you about self-improvement, improving your life, improving the lives of millions of people across the globe. However, I'm very proud of the progress that I've made so far and in my first six months, I want to give you a realistic expectation as to what you can realistically expect to achieve. I could have really have done this before starting this channel because I think I went into this with a bit of an unrealistic expectation. I kind of saw a lot of people who maybe had completely different circumstances and I want to kind of dive a bit deeper into that because I think that's important to kind of realise this. So I'm someone who started a YouTube channel with no initial following. I didn't have a big online presence. No one really knew me apart from my family and a few friends that I had. Um, so that's very difficult because if you are someone, maybe yourself, you have initial a following, maybe on social media, Instagram, Twitter or something like that. You will find it significantly more easier to gain subscribers when it comes to creating YouTube. I see, I've seen a lot of people maybe, it's not, it's not the same, but people who are successful maybe on TikTok or something, they go to YouTube and they'll initially get a bit of a bounce, maybe they'll get 2k subscribers and when you think someone who has no, no following like me and maybe you, it's very hard to get anyone to kind of subscribe to your channel because you're a nobody, like if you don't have that following, it's very very hard, you've got to kind of put out very original content and it's kind of is down to look somewhat I hate when saying that because I like to have everything in our control but at the end of the day stuff like YouTube the algorithm it can be really nice to you sometimes it's not but in the video today I want to tell you what you should focus on what I wish I kind of did differently and what challenges you are likely to face in your journey because don't get me wrong starting a YouTube channel was one of the best ideas that I've ever done to date however it faces a lot of challenges and I want to make you aware of this because it's what I could have really have known with. And I think me being someone who's very relatable to a lot of people, don't have that initial following, I'm still not really, I'm still a nobody really. I want to kind of give you what, what to expect and what you should just focus on because a lot of people do really focus on the wrong things and I did that some part. But the most important thing you can focus on is just picking up your camera and recording as many videos as you possibly can. You will get better and better each time and I know just picking up the camera initially, that's a big challenge for a lot of people. I've had people message me and be like, oh, how did you kind of improve on camera? And my best piece of advice for all of you, and if you if you wanted to learn how to get better on camera and talk more precisely you just have to practice it it really is that simple it's not like a sexy answer and it's not quick and easy because I've been doing this six months and I'm not perfect at all and there's still a lot of progress that I want to make however I can if you go back to watch my first video if you've followed my whole journey which I hope you have you've been following the journey that all the way since I started this channel in early November you will see the difference in the type of quality of my videos the way I speak it's just a lot more fluid I'm a lot more confident on camera and it's simple as I've just been posting countless con content relentlessly really and consistently as much as I possibly can and that is the way I've improved being on camera being more confident being more comfortable on camera so I weighed up the idea of starting my own YouTube channel for a few months and I initially I finally took action on the 9th of November you can go back and and see i think i posted that video on the night and i made the channel on the 8th or i think maybe it's the other way around on the 10th of november I, I just made the channel and uploaded the video because i was just tired of making excuses for myself and like most people do they have these ideas and i do myself and be like okay i want to do that one day but maybe the time is not right and i had a lot of reasonable excuses as many people may know in my personal life with my mum not being too well and my dad was not very well at all at this period in my life one probably the most difficult period in my life between october and december and i started my youtube channel then and i feel if i can do it then then you have no excuse to do that whatsoever but if you are going to start a channel with some other people maybe you want to start with a friend I don't think that is very I don't think that is the best way to go about things because I had a failed attempt of starting my channel with 
a friend, who, someone who I was friends with back then, and it did not go down too well. It's very hard to start a channel with someone who's who is not in it for the right reasons. I think is the best way to put it. And you have to understand this because a lot of people will think YouTube is like quite an attractive life. You don't have you can be your own boss and you can kind of just talk on camera and it's quite easy. But I'm sure I can assure you it's not easy at all. But you will start to learn in the long run that a lot of people are in it for the wrong reasons and when they are they won't be consistent they won't show up when you need them to show up and that's exactly the problem i had i was in it for the right reasons and i want to make this ch channel to help people but a lot of the, the people that i tried to start youtube with i tried to start a podcast with were in it for the wrong reasons they kind of just saw it as kind of an easier route or or something along those lines um so yeah i would definitely recommend starting your own channel and then further along the line you can kind of bridge the gap and, and reach out and maybe do some more content with people but initially always start on your own I highly recommend so engagement is the most important thing when you start your first channel we all know that most people's attention spans are completely fucked maybe yours included I hope not because of, of modern day technology my videos I try and make are meant to be as educational as I possibly can I want to try and educate you and teach you and improve your life therefore they won't be very extremely stimulating I don't want to be that type of youtuber who has edit so edited and you get a load of dopamine I don't want to be that type of guy however you have to you've got to do what you got to do initially you will have to put some thumbnails that are quite clickbaity and titles are a clickbait too even if the video is not exactly explaining that because that's how you get views initially you gotta do that you can explain an extremely good concept and title it that and i believe me i've done this and it's got so much information and it can be truly life-changing but people won't click on it because it's not got like a thumbnail of like some ass or or some just bullshit like some hot topic or something like that and it really is attention is 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 the currency that we're all living in in the social media influencer kind of era that we're in at the moment the next piece of advice i would give you is try speak directly to the listeners i try speak directly to you like we're having a conversation i try and that's the way i think is the best I think that is the best way to go about it. I try to kind of speak a lot more broadly and as to a group at the start. However, I feel this is the best way and the best way for my content to come across. Obviously, if you're doing a different type of content, then maybe slightly different. But if you can talk to your audience one to one, like they're in the room with you, they're going to be a lot more engaged. They're going to feel like they know you a lot more because I've, I've seen this with YouTubers I watch. I feel I would know them personally when they are trying to talk to me so that's the way you should kind of direct your content like i mentioned attractive thumbnails titles are going to be so important at the start initially especially when you don't have the audience like i have i didn't have that and it's probably the same with you at the end of the day you like i say you've got to have do what you've got to do for that initial growth because people are just not going to click on titles that aren't really like that stimulating and another thing that I would really focus on is being adventurous and making your videos in kind of different locations. So I found when I went away, I went away to Menorca in Spain uh, a couple of months ago and I was outside a lot and I kind of just switched it up because a lot of people said that they got uh, quite bored of me being kind of in the same background and just talking one on one in the camera, which is completely understandable. I, I get that so I switched it up I did more videos kind of outside and in different environments and it's something that I'm still learning and maybe you'll think you don't even do that anyway but I'm gonna do it more I'm, I'm going away to Iceland tomorrow um, I probably will be there by the time this video goes out but I'm gonna try to do more kind of like travel content and just being out in nature and I, I did a video in Dublin where I vlogged that and I don't really know if it did well or not because I got a lot of hate because I kind of said that Dublin's not a very nice place but I'm sure you've probably seen that video if not go check it out it's kind of what you get if you kind of uh, hate on someone's kind of hometown but it is what it is um so that's what I would focus on if you're going to start your new channel but what I want to tell you stuff that I wouldn't focus on because that's just as important 
because initially a lot of people will waste time and think that you're being productive you're thinking okay i'll do the stuff that's not that difficult i'll uh, um create an attractive banner okay i'll have an attractive kind of description and, and profile picture i'll make it look all nice and pretty which is all well and good but at the end of the day you're not going to get people to no one you're not going to grow your channel doing that no one's really knows who you are anyway so no one's going to see your channel the most important thing as i've said is just to get videos out there get as much content as you can improve yourself on camera that's what you need to focus on you can't be focusing on all of this once you've got that success then yes go and make your channel look all pretty but at the end of the day it still isn't really going to matter too much people watching because of the content you're providing the value in your videos it's not how pretty and perfect it all looks and that kind of moves quite swiftly on to the next point which is perfection remove your ego and remember that you're new to the game and that no one is really actually watching your every move like you feel you are because I felt that and I still do I feel pressure when I, I speak on camera but at the end of the day not many people watch my video I know this well I obviously hope this video gets lots of views but realistically it's not going to get there's not millions of eyeballs watching me currently hopefully in the future that is going to be something that will change but currently I don't have the audience and everyone's starting from scratch and at the end of the day no one really cares if you fuck up if your videos aren't perfect if you get your words a bit wrong if they're not so edited and everything's all beautiful it doesn't matter at all just get that content out there so yeah don't worry about being perfect remove that ego and just focus on getting content out there um another thing spamming videos on social media so your your videos kind of just putting them out there on like instagram and all the social media you just think okay i'll just put them everywhere it doesn't really work it probably won't get you many views or subscribers obviously if you just start and just say like oh yeah i've started a youtube channel here's a link to watch my videos that's that's great uh, initially do that yes but if you just keep spamming them every single day you upload on like instagram and all the social media people are probably going to get a bit annoyed with you however there is a, another side of the argument where you could say that you'll you're not these people who find you annoying were never going to watch your videos or do any type of business with you if you get what i mean so you'll probably start losing followers initially as i felt with like instagram which can be frustrating as you feel like i'm trying to put more content to gain followers but initially you'll probably start to see that that backdrop and i think if you, if you have a really good video that you feel like i just really want to get people to watch this even if they don't i've put it out there i've tried i want to get more people that's fair that's what i try and do if i've got a good video I'll, I'll post it more on social media however posting every single video is is a bit of a waste of time i know it only takes a few seconds but i, I wouldn't really focus on doing that i'd more just focus out on on getting the content as much as you can so they're the things that i wouldn't focus on and it kind of all relates back to just putting content out there and what you should focus on so what what would i do differently if i was going to start my channel all over again from from scratch i know i'm not like big in my journey or anything like that well some of my videos were just because i wanted to talk about things that i was interested in and this is a very kind of rookie mistake that a lot of people do just speaking about stuff that you're interested in is not the best thing to do and remember that you're providing value to your viewer i'm hopefully providing value to you you probably want to start your own youtube channel and looking for like some tips and that's what i'm trying to do everything in life is always transactional that's the way i see things and if you're not providing value to someone they're not going to provide value back to you so i talked a lot about like kind of myself in a few of my videos and they weren't getting too many views and i kind of realized that yes that's that's completely understandable at the end of the day again i've got to remove my ego and realize that no one really cares about me I'm, I'm meant to be providing value to you as a viewer that's that's what i hope you do you subscribe to my channel you watch my videos you like my channel anything like that so i can understand why you wouldn't be interested in that type of content and that's very very important to remember and another very important piece of advice that i want you to take on board is to take time away from youtube from just making videos if you don't have like really good advice or anything like that if you don't have a good video don't just make it for the sake of it because i went through a stage of just trying to post every single day which i think it's not obviously a bad thing at all but some of the videos were quite repetitive and 
they weren't really I wasn't really having that much fun making them I felt like I wasn't really providing that much value and I've kind of learned when I now I make videos maybe three four times a week I'm a lot more engaged with the content I'm making I'm making my videos a lot more better and the ideas because I'm taking that time away I'm having more time to think about okay this provides a lot of value what have I been I'm going out into the real world and learning okay what problems have I faced recently and then I'm I'm learning how I dealt with that and then I'm providing how I dealt with that back to you and saying how you should do things that's pretty much the best way to go about it but sometimes most of the time actually my best ideas have come when I'm out in nature and just away from stimulation I'm not doing really anything and I mean like nothing like just sitting in a room or sitting outside or going for a walk there's mainly when my best ideas come and you'll start to notice it when you become a content creator so yeah I would advise just take a few days away I know it can be frustrating because you want to just grow and you want to you feel like oh, I'm not being productive and stuff because believe me I know how that feels and it's, it's shit really but it's the best thing to do and the ideas will start coming and coming and you'll realize okay this is the best way to go about it and don't worry at all you don't have to post every day even if you're posting a few times you're probably beating like 90 percent of the competition so overall like i say becoming a youtuber without initial following is very very challenging and as i've explained i've been very consistent i've kind of followed all the steps that i've been advised to take if there's anything that you feel like I'm missing that would really help me grow, I'd be really appreciate if you left that in the comments. And I'm not trying to put you off to become a YouTuber yourself because anything is possible and you, you can do this. Believe me, it's definitely possible to be anyone for to be a successful YouTuber. But be mindful of this because the expectations that I kind of had on how quick I could grow were very, very ambitious, you could say the least. Um, and I definitely underestimated how difficult it is to grow without that initial following as i've mentioned heavily in this video i do fully believe in myself and the messages that i send to you and i will keep going spreading my messages as much as i possibly can regardless of how fast or how slow this channel grows and i really hope that i will see a lot more growth on this channel um and hopefully that will be because i'm providing a lot more value to you um, and the type of content I'm putting out is hopefully going to be better and better. So I'd really appreciate if you could help in any way to make this grow. If you want to go deeper into starting your own YouTube channel and if you want specific advice for you and kind of maybe finding your niche, um, then feel free. The link is below. If you want to work one on one, we can kind of have a chat and kind of learn where you're struggling. Maybe it'd be talking on camera because that's something I really struggled with. And if you want to le learn how to improve that, I'm not trying to like say I'll just um come to me but I'm probably the best guy to know how to do that because I've come from someone who ca literally can't talk to people at all um so yeah and I think it's always important to kind of learn from people maybe a few steps ahead from you than learning someone who's like massive he's got two million followers a million or whatever it may be and he's very experienced he's been in the game a lot longer than all of us but I'm not trying to say that just to, to, to sell you anything. If you want to, then you can. If, if you don't, don't you don't have to. And all successful people will, will always kind of tell you to learn that way instead of learn people who know everything. So yeah, if you don't, if you don't want one one-on-one -on -one personal advice on how to kind of grow your YouTube and, and start, start up initially, then that's fine. I hope this video has already provided a ton of values to you and I wish you the absolute best on your journey um, and I hope this tips maybe do you want to come back to this video at some point in your journey and see if these if this has kind of helped you um, just let me know I'd be really grateful to kind of hear your progress and what you think and if there's anything else I could maybe speak about I could maybe do another video in the future but yeah I hope it's really helped you and I wish you all the best and I'll see you in the next one take care